Hi, everybody. I see there's just four of us here. So I've decided to record this webinar so that those that couldn't make it are able to watch the recording of our webinar today. So maybe um, I feel very alone. <laughs> If you can, uh, you may switch your microphone on and say hi and uh, just share something. Um, Nicole, go for it. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited for this day. I can't wait. Nice to see all your faces there. And uh, yeah, it's, we're going to learn some lovely things today. So I'm very, very excited. And hopefully next time we'll be more and more each time we have one of these. Yes. Just not perfect. Yes, definitely. I think uh, we, we're getting the ball rolling. And I think as people get more familiar with doing webinars and um, how to link in, um, it's going to become easier. And we're going to learn different tricks. I've already learned some MacGyver tricks on how to use the least data as possible. So uh, I hope this is going to be an enriching time for you all. And I encourage you to chat. If you have a look on the right-hand side um, of this box, on the right-hand side, where it gives you, um, if you click on the little, the little people, people icon on the top right-hand side, um, if you click on that, you will see who's present, the people, and then there's a little uh, block tab that says chat. And if you click in that, you can type messages and ask questions and interact there. So we're keeping our microphones and our videos, our cameras off to keep with data, uh, to keep our data low. Um, but if you use the chat box, uh, that is brilliant. And um, I'm a little bit focused on my presentation, but Nicole's here and uh, my partner who will respond to any questions or difficulties that anyone might be having. Um, yeah, let's just get these Prudence. I see Prudence has just arrived. Let's just say hi. Just wait for you to come in. There we go. Hi, Prudence. Nice to see you. Here we go. Okay, so um, we have, uh, we've allocated two hours to our workshop today, um, but let's see how we go. If you can see you're running low on darts or whatever, I'll speed it up and we can always um, end um, earlier if, if required. We've kind of guessed that we would use about half a gig of data, so that's what's been allocated to everybody to use for this webinar. So I hope you enjoy and thank you to Penreach for supporting us and being on this mission with us, being so passionate about what we we believe. Yeah, I see Nicole says she's tracking the data. So I think once we get close to um, once we get close to our limit, we'll we'll end off the webinar so that it doesn't um, use too much of everybody's uh, data over that. Um, okay, I'm going to shoot ahead. Um, so what an amazing, um, I don't want to say it in a, in a, a disrespectful way to people that have, have really suffered through this COVID um, trauma that has hit our world, um, but I'm thinking in a digital sense, um, and in a teaching sense that I think uh, COVID has revolutionized how we think and, 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 it's, and it's given us a, a real big shove into moving ahead um, into, into the future. 
Um, I think we've had to relook really at our teaching styles. We've, we've seen how the children have embraced um, the shift. And it's a small shift. I think not, not everyone's been able to make big shifts, but it certainly put a big um, highlight on the necessity to make shifts. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, today our focus is on virtual reality and augmented reality in the classroom specifically. So I'm going to focus on that and just uh, maybe give you some practical tips and, and things. Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of what, um, uh, what it is, what is virtual and augmented reality. It seems um, uh, at the moment it's, it's really used as a fun tool in the classroom just to make things come alive. Um, and, and, and sort of that virtual reality in the gaming sense. Um, but what I wanted to, I'm going to show you is um, how simple it can be. Obviously it is, is de device dependent. So it is going to um, uh, depend on, on that, um, being able to have devices in the classroom. For it to work um, but it can work with one device I mean it can uh, it's a little bit tricky at the moment with COVID and all um, but um, it, we're working towards a, a picture um, in the future and um, certainly in the next couple of years um, I don't think this transition it's you know when you look at businesses I'm waffling okay tell me if I'm waffling <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you look at, at businesses, and businesses had, had, had to look at how can we make things that um, are not, how can we market, how can we um, do things digitally as opposed to face-to-face. -to -face. And so this topic lends itself so well. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. I've got some videos, but I don't want to stream it through this, um, through our webinar. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show it off another device to the screen. So it's not actually going to stream onto your device. It's going to stream through the screen. So that is going to, um, so all the only data you're using is um, um, my screen, which I'm sharing with you now. Um, Nicole, if, if you wouldn't mind, um, while I'm doing that, um, just to prove my theory, if it's correct or not. If or so, when the when I'm showing a video, that it doesn't use more data than what I'm hoping it will. Um, so if you could just confirm with me, hey, you, you okay? You, yeah, you, I'll let you know as you go. Okay, so if I'm if it if the video does seem to use, but it, it shouldn't because I'm being share my screen. Okay, okay let's test it. Okay. So a little bit of a, a MacGyver contraption here to show you my video of my iPad. <laughs> so I hope it works. Um, before we go into our actual topic, just to share with everybody, um, and, and I haven't said welcome, everybody. Um, I'm so impressed. We've, we've got a, a good handful of people here, and we're excited. This is we breaking new ground, Penn Ridge, um, doing our work virtually today. And... Um, yeah, may, may the ground we break um, expand into greatness. So welcome to one and all this morning. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to share my screen. Um, I just want to take you to the Penreach uh, platform where I'm hoping everybody's been able to log in and just browse around and see what it's about. So I'm going to share my screen right now and take you to um, the eLearn platform. So you don't have to do anything. You just keep watching. And I'm going to take you, uh, if I can do that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to share the eLearn platform. Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is um, the, the URL um, I've shared via the WhatsApp group. So if you need to know again, please just shout. I'll keep sharing the link. Um, 
So this is the platform where we're going to be, and we're part, by the way, guys. We are the first group to actually do work this workshop uh, through the p- platform. So bear with us. There may be a few hitches here and there, um, but we we are piloting this to see where there might be hitches, and 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 please give us feedback on how you experience the platform. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log in. And your login, um, you don't have to do this today. It's just I'm demonstrating um, in case you haven't been able to get there yet. So your username is your ID number. So you should it should be your 12-digit ID number. And then um, if you are not have not got a South African or you've used your password, uh, uh, sorry, your passport number, it will be your passport number. So whatever number you've registered with and then your password is um, the first six digits or numbers okay um, so that is your username and password if you have any problems with that please again shout and we'll get the tech team onto it uh, to assist you so we're going to log in <clears throat> and you should then see your course um, up there on the screen Okay, so STEAM in the classroom. And um, again, also in pilot stage. So we just, uh, we're learning as we go. And then you will see the different modules there. So we've completed three modules. So in module three, you should see our materials for this workshop, which um, you don't have to go to now, um, but can go to in your own time. So the first thing I would like you to ask, and if you can do that today, I'd really appreciate it if you haven't already done it, um, is you're going to go and do the pre-assessment. Okay, so the pre-assessment, go into it. Um, it is um, a, a multiple choice questionnaire through this platform. So you just stay in this platform and do that. And then if I can ask you to complete, go through um, the notes. So the notes here, pretty much a lot of what I've, I'm showing you today, but in more detail, will be the, uh, it's a PDF note with um, uh, notes and links. Uh, some of the videos I'm showing you today, there's some extension stuff that you can go and explore. So go and explore it. It will be a time with, with VR and AR is that you actually need to explore it. You need to go and play around with it and go and experiment and see how it works for you. Um, so there's two here. You can work through those notes and those links and whatever. And then once you've completed that, if you can go to the post-assessment and then complete the post-assessment. So again, please give us feedback. If it doesn't work for you, if you think something else might work, a different format, please shut, because we, we're learning too. Okay, so I'm going to hop off there. That's, that's what I wanted to show you today was the, uh, the course material for today. Okay, so hopping back. Let me see. Back again. I hope. Can you see me? Next. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. And we're still on track for data, so it's good. Okay, great, great. Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, uh, you would have all got your headset. Um, I've got a couple of different ones. This one's a different one to what you've received. Um, but they all work pretty much the same. Okay, so this is um, the one I received. It was a freebie. So you just hop your phone in the back. So it pretty much works the same as yours. Yours, I think, slides, if the mechanism slides out. So you slide your phone in and it then gives you um, you've got to have the app open that you're wanting to use or the YouTube video or whatever and and then um, pop your head on and uh, watch a, a virtual reality. 
Now, be before I carry on, let me just say to you the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. Virtual reality is as if you were present in that room and you are seeing the environments around you. So um, if you, I see Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Okay. Um, so uh, a virtual reality as if you were present in that room. Okay, and you're seeing. So if you were doing a virtual reality show, a, a demonstration of, say, the heart, it would be as if the heart was right in front of you and you are experiencing that. Okay, so that would be virtual reality. Augmented reality is bringing that, um, that piece into your world. Okay, so it would be, um, um, you know, that, that video, that thing of uh, the camera, the 360 camera where we Googled an animal and we tapped on 360, and it brought that animal into your lounge, that is augmented reality. So it's bringing that reality into your space. That would be the difference between, sorry, <laughs> augmented and re virtual reality. Virtual reality takes you into that space. Um, so it would be um, taking, um, uh, going to the, per the Egyptian pyramids, for example, so taking yourself to a different space um, in the world. And, and that's amazing. I mean, we can go and view the, the, the pyramids for real from our classroom, um, which is, that's amazing. So, um, I mean, that kind of thing I can use in my classroom. I and mean, if we're doing space, I can take my children into space with virtual reality and, and go and, and see what space looks like. So that's virtual reality. Augmented reality would be bringing that into our classroom, um, which I think um, you'll see from the videos I'm going to show you how amazing that can be, how it's going to change marketing. I can see that changing marketing big time. Um, and, it's, and it's always used with things called triggers. So... Um, so things like this, this is called a merge cube. It's, um, I made it, so I can send you a template for this to, to print it out and you can make it. So you could use it as a bit of a um, 3D shapes making your boxes, but this is actually a trigger. So if you show, if you point your camera to it, so it's like a QR code, and, and you can trigger a picture to come up. Um, so this is the kind of thing I'd really like to do hands-on with you right in front of me so we could do it together. But I can send you the resources and the notes of how to use it. So that kind of thing. Um, this thing, I don't know if you remember this, uh, was a pick and pay thing that they did a while ago um, where you show your, you had to download the pick and pay app and then every time you shopped, you got one of, a couple of these cards so you use the pick and pay app, you scan the the picture and it makes the, what is this, a bush baby, it makes the bush baby come into your space and you can actually see it moving and you can hear the sounds it makes and that kind of thing. That's augmented reality. Okay. Um, uh, this I've used a lot in my classroom when we've uh, learned about animals and it's um, amazing. It was really amazing. So um, this I have also got a, a digital copy of, which I can share with you, uh, printed out. Um, I actually made a whole lot of these. So I had, I had lots. So when I was doing group work, the different groups could go and explore. We almost use it like a treasure hunt where they went and um, found the animals um, in the classroom. Um, so, yeah, I'll send you this and I'll send you the link for the app as well. Um, so, yeah, lots of fun that was. And then you get different, you know, different, um, different things. Uh, here I've got a, a space set. Again, it's a trigger. So you, you have to have, you download the app that can read it. And then you, you just, um, you point your camera to it and it, and it, it tells you about this, this, piece of, I can't read it, a, a, a Prospero um, in space and what its function is in space. 
So that's, uh, and we've got animal ones, we've got dinosaur ones. Um, so those are called triggers. And the same as a, a QR code will be a trigger. Um, the serial number, that barcode on any product has got that um, barcode on. Um, looking at this box of tissues, that there, that's a trigger. So they use it, they use that currently, okay, and that triggers it to the price. And you can actually look up the product using that um, barcode. Um, so little things, um, but I'm gonna, I'll show you the video. It's gonna wow you to see how in the future, how um, our world is gonna be customized to us. It's gonna be personalized. So uh, basically they're looking at um, um, having, so what you what we would use as these, these um, very bulky plastic mechanisms on our faces, it's actually going to be something that is simply in a pair of glasses that you wear. And as you um, navigate your world, you'll have different things that pop up that are customized. So Cheryl likes um, technology. Um, wherever I go, there will be things that will pop up sort of in my, my, my view of my, my glasses that will advertise new uh, technology, uh, for example, that if, if um, customized to Cheryl's a mom. So I'd obviously be interested in things that are children related. I'm a teacher. I'll be interested in things that are, are teaching related. So um, our world is going to be personalized and customized to us as people. Um, so that's where that big data uh, word comes in. Um, in the background, as we are navigating our worlds, as we navigate our, our, our smartphones, our smart devices, there's a big data thing happening in the background that we're not even aware of. And they are building up, building up, building up information about people and what they like. And they've probably got this huge, big, little uh, uh, data file on Cheryl Williams right now of the things that Cheryl <laughs> enjoys. So um, that's, where, that's where our world's going. And, it's, and it seems a little bit um, abstract in, uh, because we can't see it. But it's, it's coming. You know, if you think of um, you go onto the internet and you, um, you browse uh, new phones or you browse um, wooden huts or whatever it is, the next minute you get an email that's advertising something like that to you. It's all connected. And that's quite something to, 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 to know. It's big data and it's, and it's out there. We are not... We don't live private worlds at all, um, at all. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, I hope I'm on, on point with everybody. Everybody's following me, and I'm not waffling. Okay, this is the first for me. I've never done a, a, a virtual webinar like this, other than just sharing little videos along the line. This is the first for me. I'm breaking ground with myself with running this webinar with you guys today. So uh, thanks for the encouragement, Nicole. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. And every time I have a video, I'm actually going to switch my share screen. Excuse me, I'm going to share my, my I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then show you my iPad in front of the screen. Okay, and I hope that that's going to work so that I can share those uh, videos with you. Uh, okay, right. So I'm now going to present my screen. Uh, come on. Okay. And I'm going to take it to my slides. Okay. So our, our workshop number three and yeah, we've spoken about it now. Whatever we do today on our smartphones, tablets, laptops, you'll be doing in virtual and augmented reality by 2030 and much more. If you think that the internet is only 20 years old at the moment, okay? Our smartphones are only 10 years old. 
So if you think of what could happen in the next 10 years, that's mind blowing um, of where we've come in 20 years with, in, with regards to internet, where we've come in this world in the past 10 years with regards to smartphones. The next 10 years are going to be mind blowing in terms of virtual and augmented reality. So this is the most important advance in technology taking place right now, and it's going to change everything. Okay, I've got um, I've got a video of my good friend Graham to show you. So I'm going to bring up my Magava contraption right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I've got this big contraction, which I want, I really want you to hear it from him. I can't say it better than him. And so I want you to see that, hear it from him. Okay. So here we go. Uh, come here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Probably the most exciting technology that's bursting onto the scene right now is virtual reality. This is a technology that is going to take the world by storm and over the next 20 years is going to find its way into every single part of our lives. At the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, uh, virtual reality headsets burst onto the market. Uh, now, I don't know if you've seen or played with these uh, before, uh, but a virtual reality headset, as you, you can see uh, in this, this image, is basically something that sits on your head. You've got headphones on your ears, and it's pretty much at the moment connected to your smartphone. Um, and basically you slot your smartphone in here, download some apps and videos, uh, and that gives you a 3D universe. Now, if you don't have one of these headsets or haven't played with them yet, uh, the easiest way to imagine this is to look at 360 videos. So if you haven't seen a 360 video yet, go to YouTube and just search for 360, 360 video. Uh, there are hundreds of these available, and look at it on your smartphone, not on your computer, but on your, on your phone. And the 360 video is a remarkable experience because basically what's happened is they've used a camera, which they've put uh, and located uh, in the middle of a scene. The camera doesn't just have one lens, it has multiple lenses all the way around, even up and down. And the camera takes a full 360 photograph or video then when you look at that, you are actually located inside that image or that video. And you can use your smartphone and turn around and actually look at the video all around you. If you've got headphones on, you hear the sound from all around you. It really is a remarkable experience. Now, what virtual reality does is it takes those 360 videos and it puts them onto your face. Now, the reason for doing that is you block out the rest of the world, and it allows you to immerse yourself in that image. It also splits the image into two parts, and giving each eye a slightly different image creates full 3D effect. It is really remarkable. Now, these headsets are, are, are quite expensive, over $1,000 each, but something has happened with virtual reality that has never happened before with technology, and that is that the cheapest option has been released first. And I genuinely mean that. I, I doubt we're going to get any cheaper than Google Cardboard. I, I mean, genuinely, this is cardboard. You, you even build it yourself. And this is a genuine product from Google, um, and it's a, it's a virtual reality headset. Okay, it's made of cardboard. The, the only expensive pieces are these two little plastic lenses that you've got in there. You, you build the whole thing, and then you drop your smartphone in, and basically you have yourself a 3D uh, virtual reality headset for $5. Seriously, just 
five dollars for for one of these go and buy one get into this experience the, the apps most of them are for free um, and you can see what all the fuss is about now what the fuss is about is that over the next few years we are going to move our whole lives into virtual reality i'm not overstating that if you think about what we've done in the last 20 years in becoming more digital how much time how many hours how many tasks do you do that require email your laptop your tablet or your smartphone i mean seriously think about it how many hours a day how many tasks in your day require those devices well more than that is going to be done in virtual reality in the next 20 years virtual reality is the single biggest technology coming our way uh, at the moment <coughs> and we're going to be doing meetings uh, strapping one of these things to our heads and connecting with 10 other colleagues where we all enter the same virtual world we're going to be going on holiday this way you're going to be doing your meditation and contemplation this way wouldn't it be great wake up in the morning just calm yourself ease yourself into the world and say well i would love to have 15 minutes just sitting on a rock uh, on the seashore of my favorite beach in the world and you just do that with headphones on and you get into that world or maybe just standing in times square uh, live watching the world go by all of these will become options we'll even have the option to have relationships this way um, now some of you might be thinking that's a little bit far-fetched but think about it this way the only difference between the physical interaction you have with somebody and a virtual reality interaction that you might have the only difference actually is how much data your brain is getting you, you see everything that you are seeing and hearing and feeling and touching and smelling and tasting uh, is actually turned into electrochemical <coughs> impulses in your brain. Now, if we can simulate all of those at the same level that your senses, your eyes, your ears, your, your tongue, taste, take those in, well, you won't know the difference. You won't know the difference between the real experience and the simulated experience. Here's a question to wake you up. If you can't tell the difference between a real engagement and a virtual engagement, does it matter? It probably doesn't. There's something to ponder uh, over the next few days. Virtual reality is coming and it's going to change everything. So why don't you just take a few moments now to think of 10 ways in which virtual reality is going to impact your life over the next few years. Uh, look around you as you go through your day, uh, the experiences you have, the things you do, and ask whether virtual reality might get involved. Going shopping, for example, having meetings, uh, sending communications, even going on holiday uh, or connecting with your kids at school. Uh, there are hundreds of ways in which virtual reality is going to make its way into our lives. Make sure that you understand just how much virtual reality is going to be part of our future. Uh, and start doing it today. Watching the world okay. go by. All of these will become options. We'll even have the option. It doesn't want to go away. <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, interesting, hey. Um, I'm going to invite you to just chat in our um, in the user chat area there. Uh, think about, uh, okay, so we've used quite a bit of data doing that. All right, so I don't think I will do that again. <laughs> That's used half our data. Okay, so um, I'm not going to use the videos. Uh, what I will do is all these videos, if you're on the eLearn platform, um, will um, all these links for the videos are in that, that planning sheet um, that you will be able to download. 
Okay. Um, and thereafter, hopefully your SIM cards will um, that you've been allocated will kick in as well. And you do have unlimited data until December. We've been just tr struggling with a few people uh, with just getting it connected through RAIN. So we are limited to using it the RAIN data because um, it is a sponsorship from RAIN. Um, so, um, yeah, just hang in there. Um, and we'll get it right eventually. But that is unlimited, and hopefully you'll be able to go wild with playing and explore, exploring. Okay, right, so I'm going to hop to the slides. Um, and then, Nicole, if you could just give me a warning when, we, when our data is up. Okay. So I'm going to hop through the, the I will hop through, uh, jump over the videos that are our videos so that that doesn't just use too much. Um, you'll see that there's a video uh, demonstrating a tour through um, from the nose uh, through the internal organs of the body. And it's animated, it's kid friendly, it's amazing, um, right through. And it explains sort of nose hairs, down the nose shaft. It's incredible. Um, I've also shared um, uh, one on space, taking the children into space. I'm doing the theme of space next to with my grade threes. So I'm very excited with exploring uh, space, uh, 3D and virtual reality, sharing that with them. So I've shared with you a, a space um, tour um, that hopefully you'll be able to enjoy. And then, and then lots of links. Guys, there is so much on the internet about virtual reality in the classroom. So just go and explore it. And, and if you find stuff that's really good, uh, share it. Share it with us because we can all learn from each other. Um, it's, it's, this, is all, this is very much new ground in the classroom. And I think the more exciting we can make it for our children, I mean, that, that's what they're into. The kids are into all this um, virtual reality and augmented stuff. It's, it's just, um, and to get them to love learning. I think that's my, my mantra in life is, is I want the children and the people I, I work with to love learning. Um, so, yeah, so I'll share all the links. I'm not going to um, put them on to this, this webinar. Um, I'm just trying to keep data down. Um, and it's interesting as well. We also, we're doing a, an experiment to see how much data we're actually using. So it's interesting to be doing this test to see how much, how much uh, we, uh, data we use for webinars. Okay, so we're doing a, an experiment for PenReach here. <laughs> okay. So just, yeah, what an exciting uh, world. So if you can't, what Graham said, if you can't tell the difference between real engagement and virtual engagement, does it actually matter? Um, so it's coming. Whether we like it or not, it is coming, and it is going to change everything. Um, I just love this picture, and I just thought, oh, just look at the wonder on these children's faces. Just, it's, it's so inspiring. Okay, I'm gonna skip over the videos. Okay, um, the glasses that I was telling you about, that they, they're not going to be, if you think of the first phone that was ever made, we used to call it a brick. It used to be the size of a brick, the first phone. And you see how small um, our smartphones have become. Um, the same thing is going to happen with our virtual reality glasses. Um, they're just going to become smaller, smaller, and more integrated into um, our clothing items. You think how quickly we've adapted to masks on our faces. Maybe it's all part of the whole big picture. <laughs> Who knows? You know, but maybe the glasses, um, the glasses will, you know, same as, as all technologies, become more and more integrated and adapted to our lives. So um, this is, yeah, um, uh, back to the future picture, but uh, very much where I see, if you see of where, where technologies come from, it will certainly play its part with, uh, with the glasses as well. Um, another video, oh, this video, <laughs> sorry, I won't play it. 
and we'll bring you away. Sorry. All right, who wants to see a volcano? Three, two, one. Cheryl, we're not seeing your screen. Oh, aren't you? Okay. You know what? I'm actually done because the rest are all videos. Am I back? Yes, you're back. Can you see my face? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's uh, the all the other slides I've got were all videos, and I'm not going to show them to you, but I have shared the links with you. So if you go and pick up the sheets, the the notes through the eLearn platform, you'll see. Um, You'll see everything, and I'll share the pictures and that that aren't there. I will share with you on the WhatsApp group. Okay, how are we doing with data next? Let me just check. Three megabytes, uh, 300. Okay, very oh, good. Okay, so I've got a little bit of time to waffle, and I've got a little bit of time to get your interaction as well. The one video I wanted to show you was a video um, of a woman walking through the street from from um, being on a bus um, who whole uh, whose smartphone was like a personal assistant to her um, if you think of how Siri how um, what's the other one um, it's big in the United States at the moment um, uh, uh, what's her Alexa. name Alexa. Alexa. you think of how those things are integrating into our world you know um, hasn't really hit us yet, but um, yeah, we always the followers, and uh, I think we're certainly going to be following on those kinds of things. We um, that has been that's integrated into this whole virtual reality. You know, in the um, she's sitting on a bus, and as she's sitting on the bus, you know, her time is saying you've got a meeting at this time, and it's all interacting with her all the time. And she gets off time to get off the bus, tells her when to get off the bus. She's at her location gets with the bus and as she's walking through the streets, the stuff is just popping up all around her. And I, I, I can imagine it driving me absolutely crazy with this uh, 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 filter. I mean, we've been, we're learning how to filter data in, that's coming at us all the time. And you just think, oh, I'll switch it off, switch it off. Um, but she had her, she had obviously had these glasses on and how the world was just interacting with her which was uh, absolutely mind-blowing. Um, she went into the shop, and as she was looking at different products, you know, um, she'd look at the cornflakes, and K Kellogg's would suddenly pop up an advert of Kellogg's to her, you know, and that's, that is augmented reality. That is bringing this uh, reality into our world. Okay, so if you think of that in terms of a classroom of... You know, you're looking at fractions and suddenly this interaction starts interacting with the child where they're at with what's relevant to them. Um, and I think that's how, I mean, we're seeing it just with the change in, in how things have, have, you know, other kids haven't been able to go to school um, and have now um, have adapted to learning what's relevant to them right now because I think everybody has an innate ability to want to learn. And so whatever interests you, you will explore. And I think that that for me, um, I totally believe in innate, um, you know, how that uh, nature-nurture nurture debate, how um, I believe people will seek out what they want to, what they want to learn about. And, um, and that is going to blow, blow education out the water, uh, definitely, um, in my mind. Is there, are there any questions, um, comments that anybody wants to make that, uh, that might be relevant to what we, where we're at right now? Okay. Right. Cheryl, can I just jump in there? Please. I also think, like, um, if we think about the children that we're teaching um, and, like, wanting to create entrepreneurs in the world. So, you like, you've got these street artists that are absolutely amazing, but nobody sees their local stuff unless they are, um, you know, they come to South Africa. 
Um, and something like this will change the, the world because that artist or that young child could start something where they create a, a virtual reality experience of what they've learned or what they've made. And that can go around the world to so suddenly some person. Um, and, it, and again, it takes away the whole Im limitation of um, age. It can be an old man. It can be a young school going child. But suddenly the whole world can actually see what they're doing and almost as if they're walking through the street, looking at what's on the pavement, looking at this incredible talent that these people have. So I think when we're teaching children like we want to in the future to be entrepreneurs, to, to showcase their strengths and their talents, this is going to make that really, really possible. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> It's it's um yeah. I'm I'm I've just switched to your uh, to to see your faces. Uh, I can see uh, uh, Charlotte and Lena's faces there. Uh, your Henry, hi. <laughs> your Henry sent me a, a message. They've asked us to take a screenshot of everybody on our webinar just to to show off a little bit that we are the the pioneers. Um, so it's nice to see your faces. Um, yeah, I, I have a um, I have a video, and I really want to show it to you. Um, it's actually demonstrating uh, VR in uh, in the classroom, uh, children exploring volcanoes. Um, I want you to see it because it's um, that's what it's about. That's where it, that's where it's at in the classroom. So I'm guessing that if I show you this video. It's going to cheer up the rest of our data. So um, I'm going to, yeah, okay. So I'm going to show it next and um, and then just let me know if we've got time to chat a little bit more. I'll show it to you. Um, and then, yeah, uh, it okay, all right. So let me just get it on and then I can uh, show you my MacGyver contraption again. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Once to see a volcano. Three, two, one. Wow. Look at that lava. Look at that smoke coming out of that. Pretend you're an airplane and fly over the, the tornado. That's the top. What do you see? We're learning about DNA and genes, things that we can't see. And so the most exciting thing for me with the AR technology was that I could see kids get an aha moment that I couldn't get by just telling them about it. The minute I saw it pop up on the screen, it made me get up and walk to it. We actually get to turn around and look at things from all angles, so it gave us a nice perspective. See if you can figure out what that might be based on what you know about the respiratory system. I got to see where the alveoli branched off and I could look inside them and see how everything worked, which I never saw before and it was really, really cool. Okay, there's a bit of a back to front writing there, but it's uh, through an app called Expeditions, which is a Google app, so I'll share that with you as well. Um, yeah, uh, let's just see where we're at now. I just want to take a screenshot, I don't want to miss that opportunity, unless you've taken one next. Pardon? Have you, have you managed to take a screenshot? Oh, no, no. Sorry, must I do it? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do it quickly. I didn't want to do it if you've already done it. Uh, no. Let me just get you all up here. And uh, won't you show your, show your video, everybody, so that I can get all your faces on our photograph. So just if you put your camera on so that I can see your face, and then we can take a screenshot just so that we can say we were here. Yeah, we are making history. <laughs> Hi, Prudence. I can read lips well. <laughs> Timber, can you show us your camera? And next, and um, I'm not sure who this is, trading, marketing. 
Turns to camera. Munti, hi Munti. Okay, there we go. Hi, I see you, see you. Okay, Lena, where did you go? Okay, I wanna take a quick picture. Oh, uh, okay, I see the connections going going down okay guys so i think we're going to call it we will call it a day because uh next how are we doing with data sorry yeah we are almost up okay all right guys um, we did we did schedule two hours we've done an hour so it looks like an hour takes five and a, a half a gig so that's quite interesting so um guys um I feel like I haven't shared enough with you, but I hope I've just um, kind of got a ball rolling and, and maybe inspired you to explore. Um, we're going to, we will definitely share. Um, so we're not limited to the content that we've shared on the eLearn platform um, because the more I look, the more I'm finding. So I will share um, more and Nicole I'm sure has got lots to share as well we'll just keep adding we'll keep sharing um and you download when you can and 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 just explore use your glasses so the glasses that you've got explore with that um it is limited to finding videos that are already in 360 form um so um but yeah uh, play with it um but there is just so much. We, we've, 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 we've touched the tip of the iceberg in terms of uh, virtual reality in the classroom. And so I hope you've learned a little bit. I hope I've inspired you a little bit to go and explore. And um, yeah, uh, so thanks so much for, for being part of our webinar today. And um, You'll see lots more of us, maybe not virtually on this webinar because I'm seeing that it is a lot of data, but um, let's see how we go going forward. But as much as we can on, on the WhatsApp group, I hope that that's, that's a useful um, app for you, that you're able to see the stuff through there. And then as well as our eLearn platform grows, we can um, use that far more uh, make it more user-friendly for everybody. Um, yeah, I think as soon as those RAIN SIM cards are sorted out, um, we're going to have uh, uh, so much stuff to play with. And um, we can we just need to get everybody on the eLearn platform. I think, Cheryl, can you remind me and the, the delegates again how the usernames and passwords work? Yeah, the, um, the username is your ID number. Okay. If you've used, um, if you're using your passport number, uh, if you registered with Penreach uh, with your passport number, then it will be your passport number. Um, and then your password is the first six uh, digits, numbers or letters, whatever you use. So it's your ID number and the password is the first six digits or letters. Okay. And then from then on, there are the once you log in, you can you can change your password. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Provided, we've given, provided we've got your correct email address, then you can change the password, whatever you prefer. So, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. That's, That's awesome. Someone's putting on the glasses. <laughs> See them. <laughs> So sorry, 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 please. Could you assist me again with the glass? I'm finding it difficult. We actually lie inside the pitch uh, the cell phone. You put the you were explaining the other time. Yeah. Um you'll have to go back and, and just watch the videos. I've, I've posted a, a video demonstrating that particular glass. Oh, okay. How to put your phone in. Okay. So go and look um, okay. at, um is this Omo? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Omo. Um, yes, please. Yes, ma'am. I have done a video and um, show you. Okay, ma'am. 
I'm not sure if it's in now. But um, I'll, uh, and I emailed it to you as well, Mo. Okay, Mo. Okay. So, yeah, just have to use Thank it. You. And I'll send you some links of things that you can use with those glasses. Okay, Mo. Okay. All right. Thank you, Thank you so much. Very, okay. very, very grateful. So, yeah, guys, I think we're going to end off now. And thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to be here. And um, yes, we're on a roll. <laughs> Thank you. It, it's, at least if you can do one hour, but uh, what, what I may even suggest now, if you can do one hour, all the lecture material sent in advance, maybe a few days before the real lecture, we're going to use one hour. We see how we can compress then contribution will be coming from various uh, uh, colleagues here and there. Yeah, but yeah. this experiment this experiment is so wonderful. I really appreciate it. Then we need to also compare the platform. It's uh, Google Meets, Zoom, which one is the cheapest on data? But if you have the rain on board, there won't be a problem. But if yeah, the yeah. rain is not on board yet, we need to see what other, explore other alternatives where we can reduce data to the to, 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 to the level which we won't have any complaint. The, um, Omar, the Zoom is not free. So if we use Zoom, um, okay, ma. yeah, we, we are limited to 40 minutes on Zoom. Oh, okay. okay. I think, I mean, if, if it does use less data, maybe we can experiment with that. But okay. uh, I'm limited to 40 minutes only. 40, oh, okay. I did, I did a comparison before I joined on here, and Zoom does use more data. It's more data. Ah, uh, that's, that's okay then. Because it's got more functions. Okay. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah, and the Google, we're using um, our school accounts and our platforms are free. So we we have unlimited time that we can yeah, okay. um, yeah. with this Google Meet. Um, it's okay. Yeah, we could call it's our okay. own for one. It's okay, man. Thank you so much for. Uh, yeah, we have it's. Okay. okay. So there we go. We've got a limit to to an hour. Then I hope you can you can upload the video later, man. Sorry, I've got a tickle in my throat. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I hope you'll be uploading the video soon, later, so um, that we can go over and over. And um, the video, the recording from this? Yes. Okay. And there's plenty. Um, Omo, the, if you go, have you been able to get onto the eLearn platform? I've not done that. I will do that today. Okay. Do that. And um, we have uploaded all the notes there. And okay. all the links for the videos that I've spoken about now. Okay. 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 Yeah. So go and do that. It's very exciting. Thank you so much. Okay. We, right, thank guys. you so much. We are so grateful. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a, have a nice weekend. Cheers, everyone. See you Bye. next class. Okay. Next Bye. class. Bye. 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 Uh, uh, Cherry, are you still in school? I'm at school, yes. Ah, of course, I can see the background there. I <laughs> said, okay. Are you, are, are you alone in the class? I'm alone, yes. Oh, I thought your other colleagues are with you. <laughs> no, we all I'm with you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Then, the, then the picture you, 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 you on your profile, is it your daughter or you? My picture? Oh. On your on your WhatsApp, is it yours or your daughter? It's mine. Oh, okay. You took it live when you were young. <laughs> no, no, no. But if you look at it now, to to now your life, we are looking at reality and uh, virtual now. So. <laughs> <laughs>
Sí. No, I've got bags on the money. So I just I'm a bit confused. So I thought it was another uh, individual entirely. <laughs> but the only thing that makes it unique now is the same spec. Uh, okay. That you identify. So I said, well, it could be you or it could be somebody else. Uh, yes, it's, it is me. There's just okay. no filters now. Thanks for okay. that. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> At least with this now, with what with what you have said so far, uh, the the area of uh, hospitality industry, education, ministry, and church ministry, and some other things going to take a no, another turn entirely with this new technology. So it's all about going further to do further research, and we and not even traveling now. From what you were talking about, people now will be watching uh, uh, maybe Sudwala Cave now via their cell phone without them. But now, uh, how, uh, in terms of the marketing, now, how are they going to make their profits uh, and making more money, revenue from it? I hope it's not going to run down some businesses in terms of you packaging your products, yeah. especially education now. If Penrich is reaching out now, what about that student that are still outside the border of Mozambique, Swaziland, that are students of uh, Penry? So how do you now accommodate them? You mean with our Penrich workshops? Yes. So, so, um... Well, well you know, if you think about it, our reach can be that much more now. Um, and we can have people on our webinars that are, are from anywhere in the world. So in terms of, of our reach capacity, um, it's, 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 it's really constraints people right now is data and connectivity. Yeah. That's all. So that, that's what's okay. possible at the moment. You know, <laughs> the people that have Mm. Now, mm. Out, of, mm. out of the zone. To be honest with you, that that drives the world. The data drives the world now. Yeah. But, the data is the internet. Yeah, that's that's the problem because people, even though they've got the SIM cards, um, haven't been asked, not able to change it at the moment and mm. in the right zone. Mm -hmm. And we even say now that data is mm -hmm. to put it on the table of human needs, that it has to become a, a human right to have data. Yeah. You almost mm. like able to come without it. But, 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 yeah. but the data we are talking about now, the service provider, once the sector, the sector is fully deregulated, there are many players, the price will go down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, like now in White River now we've got in something frog frog is it frog foods or something like that new uh, fiber coming on board they are rolling out there and there so we are looking at many of that in on board uh, telecom too is having there it will force it will force the price down and if it's yeah. affordable for all people will cut down on many many bees and even for education too sponsorship like the what. Uh, Rain is doing, they will also be able to assist. Yeah. To reach unreachable areas in the community, like some some rural areas that you see some orphanic projects, missionary school, they don't know what next, who is going to help them, one will be able to penetrate in those areas, like what I said earlier. Reaching them, you see them, in, they are also going to grow up children. They want education, but how are we going to capture or see how we cater for their needs? Yeah. Why they are in their rural area? Oh, sorry, somebody wants to talk? Hello? No, go for it, Omo. Okay, so that's just it. We we hope things get better with this technology. Yeah. And makes the whole environment happy, happy for her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Christabel. I see you there. Yes, hello. How are you? I'm fine, and you? No, very well, thank you. Um, I missed some minutes. I was away looking for that. Uh, uh, okay. okay, we've actually we've actually finished our webinar, Christabel. Um, okay. But I have recorded it, 
So I will okay. share it with you on the recording. All right. Okay. All okay, right. Thank you. You're going to end now. Okay. I'm thank happy you so that much. I was in. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.